Today, we got five gold players who think they deserve plat versus five actual plats. How big is the difference? Now, a little bit ago, I made a video just like this, but, but it was Radiance and Immortal. And the difference there is a lot wider. Plat is a little bit of an odd rank. Oh, I see an aggressive little push. Game's a little bit on the loud side. I'm gonna have to lower it before I yap a bit here. Let's see if I can hit that audio. Lower it a bit. Okay, back. Plat's a little bit of an odd spot. You know, it's it's above average, but then it's not high rank yet. So how big of a difference is it compared to gold? A rank that's kind of considered smack damn in the middle just because the most amount of players exist in gold. Uh, as we're starting it out here, I mean, it looks like the first round is going to end up going to the gold. So could be anyone's game here. I see the most amount of people hop between gold and plat a lot. It's, it's something that happens extremely frequently. I don't think the Cypher is going to be able to clutch. Yeah, there we go. First round going over to Team Gold. Also, in the end, no matter what, I believe this is the rank where the team diff is going to make the biggest impact. Meaning, a team of five golds who are just calming will beat a team of five plats who just don't have the same amount of synergy. Like, that's because the curve is a little less aggressive. I genuinely believe smaller things make bigger differences. Is the doggy cam a little bit too big? Oh my god, it is complete. It's a complete war zone. Something I'm realizing immediately is map control is not the number one priority. Instead, it's just playing that objective, getting spiked down. It's only a two versus five gold. Seem to be dominating here as the plats are just struggling to do much. It is though eco, so I'm not gonna say too much. One could be water. Thanks for letting us know, buddy. <laughs> Mihailo finds a pick, 12 HP in a dream. Any amount of picks is just going to be a W at this point as they are on their eco. Hopefully no one decides to push him. Little bro is not going to find anyone. Gecko might push through, but he's going to clear that corner first. Mud finds Mihailo, and there we go, 2-0. to oh. Wait, 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 you said flash, right? Yes. Cap. Oh my god. It is Stop, <laughs> Plats, are you gonna take that? Mm. Now they think I'm fucking trolling. Come on, bro. No, 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 no. no. We will take no, 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 no. You see, wait, you see, wait, wait, like lock in. Five we, we, like, we, don't, we just uninstalled the game and we're playing on a toaster right now. Just give us a minute. All right, all right. All right. Silvers. We're gonna join their call, of course. Uh, each team's individual call. See how they calm. Maybe I should do that immediately here. Oh my god, it's a heavy push. Fade's not gonna have to fight too many, though she is waiting for that door to go open, open. Nice little setup. She's able to find the one, but she's going to be fighting a lot more than like than that. Yo, the gold's peeking together, not playing alone. They are locked in. They told me they're going to take it competitively. They told me one person's got to go and they need to 13-0 and they are taking it seriously. We've got a nice little head tap, but Keith can only do so much. Reina finds another two versus three. The golds look like they're going to be taking that bonus into another. Teriyaki finding a pick, two versus two. Both coming back from the dead. We got Mud sending out for some info. They're trying to play some crossfire. The ult seems like it might come out a 1v1. The golds want to make sure to secure the 3-0. The spray and pray going to come through, but he is completely paralyzed. Nothing much he can do. A little bit of a crouch. The disrespect. 3-0. Right? <laughs> oh, no. We got five silvers. I'm putting against five golds. Oh, shoot, bro. The high low finding a nice little pick. I actually, I genuinely believe in the comeback. I'm not going to lie. I genuinely believe in the comeback. Oh my god. Maybe not. They're collapsing on sites pretty good. It looks like they're quite consistently pushing hard. They're gonna have to watch their flank now that the trip is down, but how much did they really notice? The rays holding a little bit on their own. I don't like seeing the lack of crossfire and then they just peek together. There's kind of a team dip going on. Dog is gonna come out. Honestly, this is not looking the best. My heart wrenches. What's going on here? Gold versus flats. Honestly, though, we're all the same. I'm not gonna catch. When I play in plat, it's like gold. Gold and plat are so mixed together. Change my mind. Yo, Mihailo can't find the clutch, especially with the fact that the spike is just getting out of here. He's going to try to escape, but he's not even able to. The panic. 
There he goes, both fall in 0 to 4. Uh, Alright, chat, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go ahead and join the gold's call. We're gonna pay a little bit of attention. I wanna see, maybe they're calming well, maybe they're playing well. I'm not sure. Alright, there, I've lowered them a bit. We're in the Wait, gold's call. Spike. Yeah, give me spikes. Yes. Give the giga. I need to stop taking spikes, that's my bad. It's free! Oh, it's free! Rotate, 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 rotate. <laughs> Get in. You getting out? You getting out? Oh my god, he yeah, just yeah. shot. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah, just get out. Just get out. Fuck this goal. Oh, shit. This one's still main. Where are we going? Let's go in B. I think Cypher grabbed the gun off of B main. Yo, good comms by the gold. Bro, gold would not stay gold if they always had teams to like this. No. Oh, he's a Oh speed. my god. Oh! Oh my god, my clothes are done. Teriyaki! Those are actually him. <laughs> okay, maybe <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> Get the spike, get the spike. <laughs> oh no, oh, I saw that. We can that just move. go, eh? It's 2v5. Two, 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 no, there's 2 and 8. It's 2 marshals. Is that really worth it? <laughs> one has an option. Stairs. Oh, shit. Oh, that guy has the One more. One more stairs. I have retrieved the spike. Oh, what? Ten seconds oh, left. Oh, sure. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. We can just play chill now. We can play chill. Yeah, I'm blind, I'm blind. <laughs> nah, there's comms on both teams, chat. There's comms going on. There's they don't have a flash, so we can just wait for them to come in. Uh, uh they use Omen Blind? Yeah, they use it. It's gonna be an interesting game, I'm not gonna lie. Raze, you can go help. They backed up, they backed up. Okay. They're gonna go help. B. They A. They A. They're clear, they rotated. That's that. Yeah, they knifed out Ryan. Seems. I have ult for retake. Yeah, I'm trying to adjust them as we go. Careful, B. I might have just heard one on B. Yeah, they, we shouldn't have Yeah, they're leaving, they're leaving. Go B, go B. Never mind. Uh, I don't think they're yeah, leaving. I don't think they're leaving. Yeah, they, they are not leaving. Spike down A. We have bomb. Oops, I whiffed. We have bomb. Nice, good job. Why is my screen so laggy? Yeah, that was a good play, wasn't yeah, it, Reyna? <laughs> yeah. We got a nice little hold, but it's not going to be for anything because the mid is where the main push is coming through. They've all got themselves condensed here. Flash coming through. Guy got good. He backs up. He's going to anti-alt. Is that going to push him off? Not exactly. They're dedicated to the site as they take it. A lot of utilities coming out. We see people looking left and right. Not too much on the left, while two come through from Waterfall side. A collapse is looking possible on this retake. It's going to get messy real fast. Just give it a second. That Boombot's coming out. Is it going to find anything? Not quite. Oh my goodness. All out war in three, two, one. Here we go. They all start peeking. Bullets flying left and right. They're just trading. But the two, it's now two versus two. Monster on the loose. The rain of dismiss comes through. She pushes first. But they've got the crossfire. It's now one versus two. Overhealed, but it's just about to disappear now. Low HP. One shot to the toe, and our clove is going to fall. Spike's pushing fast, the spray and pray coming through, this clove is not in the best position! A lot of whiffs, but the golds find another 5-2! to two. Spray and pray through the smoke? This is looking pretty pinchy though. Their flank is luckily clear though, so they can, they can escape if they need to. But it looks like they might fight the pinch, but the Reyna finds one and just gets the heck out, and now they're... Oh, this is not looking good. The golds... The golds kind of fell apart there. They are playing a little bit aggressive on their own. When they play together, it works out. But the minute they spread, it's just a little bit too difficult. Especially with Spike down, it's going to be a hard position to play at. Raises aware of them on tree. But at least as long as they play close. But look at this. Reyna taking a 1v1. Not the smartest, but luckily doesn't doesn't hurt the, the, the round here. And Spray and Prey gets a little bit of damage on Cypher. But now these two are just sort of wandering off. But with Spike down, I'm going to go ahead and just predict that the Plat's got this one in the bag. 
<laughs> Yo, thanks for the message anime. You got gifted W. I got I got really W Oilers who gift more than I deserve. And it goes and pours over to the rest of you. Oh my god. Raze is just looking for picks now. Do damage to their economy. Why not? Almost finds another, but Teriyaki is able to shut down her rain. Ooh, the BM. The BM! The bunny hop's coming through. A lot of noise. It looks like they're dense. They're going for the pick. Clove is able to find two. Teriyaki! Finding the four! Give him the food! Finding the ace! Teriyaki! Holy! Oh, that's a funny looking knife you got. Yo, the first stops comes through. Mihailo always... Honestly, I've got to give him a high... Mihailo and Reyna. They've been playing together a lot here, and we haven't really seen a C-push. It looks like they might be dedicated this time, but they've been fantastic at keeping their uh, their sight locked down. They've been quite a hard defense. Look at that. They keep playing delay. Ooh, Raze does massive damage. Mihailo's now on the back foot, but prominence. Nice little hold on the other side while the op takes a lot of the attention. No flank coming through quite yet. The rest are just holding their sights. Cypher is able to be just set alone on A. This should be their round as long as they stay patient. Yo, they're looking. Yo, they're looking for that. They're looking for that C push. They're not happy that they have not seen C this round. Okay, my bro, my bro ABLG hit the ghost real quick, but he did on ghost immediately. Insta ban back or we let that slide. The goo coming through the double satchel. Can prominence find anything? The spray and prey still finds one. What am I watching? Teriyaki finds another and raises extremely low. Are we gonna see a flick? We see a flick! Teriyaki hitting the head tap! Bro has turned on the aimbot! He said he is not losing to golds today and full focuses. Oh my god! Prominence is left alone on C and luckily no one's deciding to push. Globe's got that B hold every single time. Teriyaki, their MVP player at the moment. Mihailo only playing the off. Interesting to see, but he's holding it from B side. So I'm, everyone's deciding to play a little bit of a slower round this time. Maybe looking to gather some info. A trade comes out through. But Clove, Teriyaki, back. But he's going to have to push in order to find any kills and stay alive. Race finds a beautiful little tap. Teriyaki's looking for that kill. The spray and pray. Luckily solidifying his revive. Two versus two. Each round. Every round. So close. Mihailo doing damage with that operator. Teriyaki throwing a little bit here. This is eco though. This is eco for the golds, which changes everything here. On a 1v1, losing the op would be detrimental. I wonder if he's just going to decide to save. Losing their eco is just a little bit nuts. Oh, it might be a timing thing. It might be a timing thing. Oh, Mihailo able to clean it up with the operator. A little bit of a mess up from Mud's side, as you can see. Anger in the chat, bringing it 6-5. to five. Plats have officially not only caught up, but taken the lead. Okay. This time we have Teriyaki and uh, Kiev holding it up. They're able to find the orb. The spray and pray, Teriyaki's a little bit too low. He knows he's not in the best spot. The random shotgun's coming through. My man, the ace got to his head, if I'm going to say anything. Prominence with the alt might be able to turn it around, but they're moving. Cypher's upload lets them change, but Ray's lingering a little bit too long for comfort. Finds her demise, four versus four. Woman's on a great spot, though. I'm not going to lie. I absolutely love this. I absolutely love this. The map control play here is fantastic. Nothing found me. Hilo with the op. Surely. Surely. He's able to find something. He's able to find one, but another's from behind him. He's able to find two before falling. Only Clove alive. Get a kill or assist to survive. Oh my god, Ring Around the Rosie is going to most likely close Wise it out Doug. here. Wise Doug. Wise Doug. 7 to 5, this is my prediction. Either the Dominance is going to start leading extremely well, with Lotus being a little bit more on the attacker side, I think. Um, well, at least the Golds had success on attacker, though. They're going to be up against a Cypher trip. Prominence hears it, but can't seem to find exactly where it's at. The first is found. Cypher going with the spray and pray. He's able to find one, but not before getting traded out. Sight is now all theirs. The others are going to be playing retake. Could pistol round B in the favor of the Plats, to be honest. On a 3 versus 3, though, it's kind of anyone's round still. Nothing looks too likely yet. We have someone on the flank. Not able to find its value. Well, not too bad. Half health. Kiev is now in quarter health, actually. I misspoke a little too soon. They're deciding to push, but Keeve is going to fall to a boom bot. They retake the site just like that? Nope, not quite. Two versus two. Quarter health on the gecko. They're going to be playing together, though. 
leaving Mihailo all on his own. Can he find anything? Oh my goodness, the clutch up seven is six. What's going on? Bro's a cuddler, that's why. Bro's a cuddler. Massive push on to mid site here. Mid site, B site, sorry. Oh. It's weird buys across the board, no? Or was that picking up gun that wasn't paying attention? I was distracted by the dog, apologies. That's what happens when you get a caster from Timu. Why is Cypher AFK? Why is Cy Bro. 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 Oh, return. They returned. They returned. They returned. They returned. Wow. Wow, that was aggressive. All right, so unfortunately, one of the golds ran away. You have to go to work. So the game is very close, or else at this point I would probably restart. But it's near the end and it's very close. So what's happened is we've taken the duelist for the duelist. The raise has left 15 to 10. We've removed another duelist on the other team. Prominence 12 to 10, very close on the scoreboard. It's now a 4v4 to balance out the game. It will shift how the game is, and it's definitely extremely unfortunate. But it should, the theoretically, it should balance it. Theoretically. The only reason it might not is just because the Rays who left, oh my god, Mud finding a little bit of a ratty kill, was their top frag. Was kind of the, was kind of the, the one playing quite hard here. But, as you can see, 3 to 4 instead of 3 to 5, it does help balance it out. Or actually, no, the one in spot, true, I can't get rid of the Rays, so there will be always a Rays in spawn. That's something I can't do. That's something I can't do. Wait, <laughs> they won. <laughs> Wait, they won. I comes through. Oh my god, all the information. The difference versus attack and defense is kind of big, but it doesn't actually matter. They go straight through those defenses. The other three are kind of focused over on Seaside. Cypher's taking a decent amount of map control, but he's kind of giving it up. Rotating back through the long way, meaning B is now reopened without any info on their end. We got a heavy push from Teriyaki, but oh, his spark might have just fallen, but not without a trade. Clove hits that revive, and Mud's kind of playing a little bit on the back line here with the Judge. Raze is not in the best of positions. The DK disappearing, the spray and pray, a lot of whiffs going on here. The other two on the flank, what is happening? AFK in a dream! What? You guys are okay. What? Slow little push. We're gonna see a 1v1 here between the Omen and the Cypher, but the Omen, ew. Immediate tap. Three remaining alive. Wow, it just feels like it's falling apart all of a sudden. Things have changed. Raise this kind of slow peek in here. Mihailo on the back. This is looking kind of crazy. The way it fell fell apart here. Nah, it's all good, man. You also did ask. I should have just like I thought the friend was more reliable, but I'll like I thought I thought they were like ready. That is my mi little misunderstanding there. Almost good. Was able to. Oh my God, Kiev! Nice little transfer. Actually, almost able to fight the Omen there quite well. Ooh, gonna give up the location there by doing this. A lot of spray and pray is likely gonna come through. Ooh, if they just shot there. If they just shot there, but no. Wait, how is it falling towards the gold side with the top frag gone? Am I missing something? They kind of having, so if I may, the plots are having pretty poor buys though. They did not manage their eco at all here. Hello, Leah. Mm. 
They also don't have too much map control going on here. But not bad either. Ooh, they're playing off-site. Kind of allowing Clove to push on through. That trip isn't going to... It's not deep enough to get much info. There, it's gone now. We're going to see Cypher versus Fade there. Fade's able to find the headshot before diving back on. They've got a great hold on this site. Really, it's looking like the golds might just take this. Nice spray. Mihailo finds one. Tucking in. Able to throw. No, that's not going to find much. She's hopping away. The omen does not push far enough, but it's going to be a fight to spray him. No, that wasn't even a spray and pray. That's disrespectful of me. That was a nice little flick with a controlled spray. Boomonger able to find the kill, but ends up back and up. 10 to 9. He's <laughs> so baby, he's baby. A lot of dogs are baby. Dude, what the heck? Look at the map. Look where everyone's playing. What is this? People are like playing against no one on both sides. No one versus no one, no one versus no one. Clove with the Outlaw though. Outlaw Demon. I haven't seen Outlaw in forever and I guess I still won't. Okay. Immediately fall. Karaoke playing for that KD, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. Surprise. Cypher looking for the trade, but not gonna able not able to peek far enough, which is not too bad, able to pick up the Vandal. But a 2 versus 3 on this retake with Cypher still alive and a lot of utility available to them. Oh man. Not looking too good. I think we might see a 10-10. They're backing up. The spike's exploding. Everyone else is going to decide to save and give up the round here. Or will we see a fight mid? Oh my god. Mud taking out Mihailo. We got the 2-1-1 split. So they might be meeting over on mound. The smoke will allow the Cypher to cross pretty easily, but is he actually going to? They might be faking C. Close able to spot one. Omen's going to peek with them. The op doesn't find any value there. No, Mihailo is definitely kicking rocks there. He's not happy. Oh, no. They kind of messed that up. Gotta say, this is probably this is really not on the AFK at the moment, because we are still at 10-10, right? We went up eight to ten, then ten to ten. Like the balance, the balance is insane. Like, does this? Do you guys just agree? Like, gold and plat, same people? Like, Riot might as well just merge the ranks, just make it one fat group of like 70% of the player base. Like, if you ever wanted to feel not special, just watch this video. Nice little head tap. Oh, the operator peak. Damn. Damn, bro. Bolts are going to take this. Honestly, Zynga. People are going to have a hard time changing my mind that gold and plat isn't just the difference between who got better teammates, who got less smurfs, who played a little bit more, who got a little luckier. And then you'll bounce between these two until you truly improve and then you go on a hard climb, steep climb, diamond up to send it up to immortal, up to radiant. And I think this works in inverse too. Iron, bronze, silver is a pretty, a pretty good steep as well in which you get the basics of the game, you improve a lot. And then gold is that curve where you're like, I know the game, I'm not like the absolute best or anything, but I know the basics, I have a lot to improve still. This applies into plat. And then there's another steep hill. Damn, bro. Damn. 
Damn, bro. 11 to 11. <laughs> Sorry. My bad. Bro got revealed. Dude, what is this mess? What is this mess? Dude, the operator is a main character. Oh my goodness! We have a finding some info here. We've got a nice little spread, but C is wide open. That's where the concentration of the team is. But they don't know that, so they're playing extremely hesitant. Gecko's gonna be on a quick rotate here. I assume the, oh my goodness, Stinger, Spray and Prey. Dude, 11 to 12 and not having their full guns is just so brutal. The nice little wraparound, luckily Mud Falls. That's a gun on the floor. Honestly, Mihailo's on a good little, no, the timing doesn't matter. The knife is out, they're caught. We might actually enter an overtime here with only two remaining at this point, one's AFK. Ooh, but they find the one, however, oh, Raze. Beautiful little alt, 9 HP in a dream. Nova, I don't think you're going to be the one to clutch it out. But hey, prove me wrong. Be him. Be the main character today and end it. Oh, he starts making a lot of noise. Nope, there's one going to fall apart. We're going into overtime, boys. We're going into overtime. Holy, bro. They're pushing hard through a tree. This is going to be quite an explosive push. Oh, a lot of spraying through the smoke. Keep can find two. No way. Cypher on the other side leaving. Oh, no. No, that fell apart like crazy. Oh, that fell apart like crazy. Spraying Prey finds one through the smoke. But with a 3v1, I don't think we're going to be seeing too much going on here. We got the shorty in a dream, but with 15 HP, I think it's going to work out. <laughs> ah, Teriyaki finding the kill. 13 to 12. Are they going to close it out? Will Plats barely win? Jumps on A, Nova, alone to defend, but can find the pick, gets down the smoke. We got Omen on a nice little angle here, holding them in position. Ray seems to want to push through, though. Maybe take B site? We're going to see another fight over on Cypher's side, but Teriyaki is able to win. And Dabber falls, they take care of the AFK. And now, headphone check needed. What went on there? Two versus two, they can close it out, but will they is the main question. Mud coming through. We love to see the Odin gamers. We've got the shotgun. They're not able to... No way. The stun stops. The teriyaki's denied the ace. Back to life. Going to be backing up. It might be GG here. No, it doesn't matter. Odin gamer. Mud finds it. One versus one. Mush is able to find nothing. gonna make some noise they're gonna be able to end it here 14 to 12 it is gg well played yeah, easy 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 <laughs> easy is crazy